Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's me, DJ King. Today's video is no other than Switch Out Saturdays with DJ King. And the item that I am presenting to you today and also sharing what I carry is an item that I did not do an unboxing for. And, but you will see a thorough review of it today as well as what fits because you'll see what I had in it. And it's one of those items I tried on when I was at the beach around my birthday month. I went in looking for the Clio carry-all and I end up seeing this. It caught my eye, fell in love with it and ordered it and I carried it this week. And it is currently Pride Month and I was like, okay, well, I feel like I need to carry this now though. <laughs> so, item I chose to carry was the um, Hudson, Coach Hudson from the denim chambray collection that the coach outlet had. And like I say, I went in to try on the coach Cleo carry all that you have seen some excellent reviews on, on YouTube from the ladies. And I went in looking for that. And then I said, well, while I'm here, let me see if they had this one. They had this one. Of course it came from the men's collection, tried it on, fell in love with it. And I didn't immediately purchase it from the store. I said, well, let me go home and think about it. Cause I went looking for one, but fell in love with this. So I didn't want to have any regrets on whichever purchase I was going to get because I knew I was not returning anything. <laughs> so the item I chose was this one. This one won me over. And of course I love a tote. So I knew it was going to be functional for me and my lifestyle. And it definitely worked out. It was an excellent carry this week. So a little bit about it. This is one of the reasons it caught my eye. Not because of the strap drop, not because it's denim, but because it felt great on my arm. It reminded me of carrying like my MCM Liz or my Dunian Burt Leisure shoppers that I have. You know, I have a wide array of totes, <laughs> even the Flynn. So this one here, you have this shoulder strap here. You also have this outside pocket which is not a deal breaker for me in any way shape or form this is my work phone that fits down in there just fine take that out and then this is the coach outlet cherry charm that you've seen probably all over youtube as well the bottom of the bag has feet and the back you just have the coach hang tag there so the second reason I fell in love with it, see if you can figure it out, probably won't <laughs> unless you own it. This bag here, it snaps, but inside are another set of handles. So the whole look that's going on right now with the book totes, this here can kind of be your book tote or it can be just your over the shoulder tote. I like the way the handles can hide down inside the bag and that they fold down. I love that feature. So they fold down that way inside. You would not know they were there just from looking at the bag this way. And then as you saw, I had the bag snapped. So they don't even get in the way of you closing the bag. So that right there, I said, okay, so that's kind of like a two for one all about that <laughs> so it just made me fall in love with the bag so i just had to get it so i've carried it this way and like i say on the crook of my arm or just by the two top handles in my hand and see how easily that just converts to a whole nother look there so it could be your purse it could be your work bag it could be your travel bag everybody does not carry the same amount of items so if this size works for you as a work bag you could do it this way if you carry a purse and sometimes you want to have it this way, or this way, or if you need to be hands-free, throw it on your shoulder. If you only carry a minimal amount and this is a travel bag for you, put your blanket, jacket, or snacks or whatever you carry on the plane, or if you're just doing a car ride for the weekend, it's very functional. So I'm gonna show you again, before I show you what all I have in my bag. Well, first, like I say, they fold down. These fold down on the outside and these fold down on the inside. So as you can see, this is what my bag looks like on the inside. I am able to 
snap it closed with all my stuff in there and with the handles inside the bag. Nothing was an issue with this bag. It is denim, leather strip on the bottom, handles of leather, navy blue, and the hang tag has coach right here and like that. It's not even a tan rush color. It's like a caramel color almost, but it's really pretty. So only thing I added to the bag is just this bag charm, plain and simple, and that was it. The charm, like I say, came from Coach Outlet. It is the one that has the C's inside of it in the glitter type color, in the gold glitter, the green leaves. It has a little bit of weight to it, but not enough to where the bag felt like it was going to be heavy because I added a charm. So that's the outside. And like I say, the front pocket, it's big enough to fit my phone, comes to right here of the bag. So my hand fits down in there almost up to my wrist. Now to the inside. This is everything I had in my bag. Everything that I will take out to show you. So what we have. Here is the Miami Red Coach Signature pencil case that you saw me pick up from the summer collection. This Nolita, I don't know if I showed it on my channel or not yet, or it may be in an upcoming um, pre-recorded video of accessories that I have acquired. <laughs> I picked it up around the same time to coordinate with the bag. It is the Denim Chambray Nolita 15. And this I just used as my candy slash gum pouch this go round. So I had some Altoid mints in here pack of gum and I had some other candy in there that is now gone like some the, uh, peppermints and um, it's probably some cough drops in here at one point and another pack of gum that I used so that was this these little Nolita 15s are so handy and again it came with a little hang tag as well red zipper lining around the zipper pull and this uh, pretty tan color strap love the contrast Then, so I can just sit it up here. So in this back pocket here, I just had my deodorant. Here's another pack of gum that's almost empty. Lip balm. Lip gloss. The shea butter lotion. And my other lip gloss. For my wallet. I had my favorite Dooney and Burke tech top in the color fuchsia. I wanted to use a pop of color versus using all of my denim no litas from last year and denim pouches just to break up the monotony, so to speak. So I chose to go with fuchsia just to add a pop of color and then to kind of just add some color to the bag for the most part, even though it's on the inside. So here was that. And this, of course, like I say, is my wallet. Grab and go piece, super functional. The next item, a Walmart clear little plastic pouch. This here is truly what it was. So these are the Halls cough drops in there. Here are the little things with my ibuprofen. And then here's my allergy meds. And a lip balm is in here. And these little things. I just think are so cute and functional. <laughs> so I have two. One that says my meds and then I have allergy meds for my son as well because his has started flaring up so we got prescription for him. So that's all this was. is a dollar, I think these were maybe $1.97 at Walmart. So I've had this for a while so but it's still holding up. It's just a little clear plastic pouch. Next the Flipstone pouch is still holding on. <laughs> this is the catch-all that has the same old stuff in it. Feminine products, toilet seat covers, hand wipes, um, hair tie, a charger case, and a mirror in there. 
I also have another pouch. This was my tech pouch. This is the Target Ruby and Cash pouch. This here. I had my charger cords and stuff in there. So my bag was not heavy, even though you're seeing all these pouches. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six pouches so far. All that was in here and the bag was not heavy. Um, I have mail in here. I need to go through the pack of wipes from the little, what do you call those wipes that we all have? Um, can't think of the name of them. <laughs> the disinfectant wipes that we all have. And I put them in here for some time they leak. So this little pouch from Target has been great from the dollar section there. I have the kids report cards in here because I need to put them in my file cabinet. This here was another pouch that I had and it's from Dollar Tree, I believe. The green one, that's Dollar Tree. Well, the Dollar and 25 store now. This here is an older pouch that I had gotten. It says she is fierce. Has a little, I guess, cheap pink cheetah on there. And this is basically a toiletry emergency. Well, I guess it's just an emergency pouch. So in here are the band-aids that you get from the dollar store. I have two packs of those. Two feminine products. A comb. A digital thermometer. The flashlight. Uh, we call it fold reusable straw. This is some triple antibiotic ointment and of course, cough drops. So this pouch here, I was keeping in my work bag, but I made another one for my work bag, which essentially had the same stuff in it, but I thought this pouch coordinated with my other pouches. So that's why I put it into this, <laughs> to my bag. So this is all that this is. And of course, this is just a little, I guess like a little cotton pouch so it can, you know, it folds to whatever shape you need it to go to. So this here, and we're getting to the bottom, slowly but surely. Here is some vapor rub. My grandmother always used this for everything under the sun. <laughs> so when my nose gets stopped up from the air conditioner or whatever, if I'm at work, I just rub some of this under my nose, opens it right up. Vicks Vapor Rub. Here's my bulky keys. My work badge is in here. Folded up sheet of paper. Some candy wrappers. And so there are the two back pockets here that I had the deodorant and lotions in. Some lint down at the bottom. The interior is blue cloth, so it might look dark to you, but it's navy blue. Hopefully this is true to color for you. There's your Coach Creed. In here, what do we have? Here is extra papers, checkbook, um, what do you call it? Checkbook register. The actual checkbook. My clipper is in there. And some wet ones are in there and my fingernail file so all of that was inside of this bag the bag was not heavy this bag is lightweight for it to be denim i don't know in comparison to the denim one that the coach boutique has i don't know weight wise which one is lighter or heavier but this one is very light i have not tried on the field tote 40 in denim in the store to see but they did have a version and then this is the outlet version so this bag worked out really well for me so here's the spacious interior this carry way or this carry both ways work for me the charm i just put it on what i called the front of my bag because that's where the pocket was if you want your work phone or keys or whatever in there and you don't want that to be out in the open just flip the bag around and make this the front of your bag. There is no Coach logo on the front or the back. All you have is the signature C's. So this can be the front or this can be the front. It's totally up to you. Totally your preference. 
the little hang tag here when I store my bags I probably will take this off because like I say just in case it bumps up against something and falls off in the closet I never find it again <laughs> but the snap on here it snaps fine I pretty much did not have it snapped I'm gonna say 75% of the time because I just whether mine zips snaps or whatever mine is normally open just so I can reach down and reach out but that was everything I had in this tote the only two pieces I got from this last coach denim outlet drop was the Nolita 15 and this Hudson tote so I did enjoy seeing what everybody got in all the reviews so at first I was debating about a crossbody as well but I knew I wanted something bigger so maybe next year because I'm sure to be denim again <laughs> They might have a different style or something that might catch my eye. But this is what I had. And so when I store this, I may possibly put these two together just so, since it's specifically for this one, although I can carry this with other things, but look how cute that is, even just to wear it that way. But if I wanted to store it, I can just tuck it down in there and they're together. So just want to come on and share this. And so all my accessories coordinated. Let me just show you. This is pink with like the boss lady and he has like the red sheet in the background. This was pink as well. This and the pink wallet. So in my head, I just had all the pink together just to add a pop of color to the bag. If I can get it to stand up, but it probably won't. <laughs> Let me do it like this. So it was a lot of pink, but it added to the bag so that it did not look plain. And there we go. And along with the cherry charm there. So I just thought it was cute to add a pop of color instead of doing just all denim. So thank you all so much for watching and following along for Switch Out Saturdays. And I will see you in my next one. And hope you all are having a great weekend. See you next time. Wait, Mom.